guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with one of my um, new digi kits or newer digi kits. It's been in my shop a couple of weeks. It's called Savile Row and um, I'm just going to kind of show you first of all what you get in the kit and then we'll have a kind of craft along. Um, so again, it's one of my smaller kits in that you buy the background pages as one part and then the ephemera part or the body of the kit is the second um, you know different um, purchase um, I just find that that works best and gives people you know best flex flex uh, flexibility sorry I can't speak today um, so in the background pages you get 15 background pages I mean they are this really beautiful rich vibrant um, it's like aubergines and navy blues and pinks and just yeah it has a really very sumptuous rich kind of look to it so I'm just going to kind of, you know, just go through very quickly the background pages that you get. As I say, you get 15, but one of those background pages, the final one is your coffee dyed background page, you know, just plain to back things on. So I'm only showing you the 14 decorative pages that you get. So this is them. You've got some gorgeous ladies as well. Love including the ladies and some butterflies and things. And then you've got these kind of couple of more neutrally background pages as well. So this one with the roses, love how this looks. It's so, so pretty. Just beautiful tones of pink and kind of oh, peachy type color, but very, um, you know, rich and nice again. Um, more of the beautiful kind of more vibrant colored ones. And another one. This absolutely beautiful, rich pink, oh, just scrumptious colour. Um, and then we've got this one here with the blue roses. And then the final couple are these ones. And then this one. Um, so that's your background pages. And the files are available in PDF and JPG um, or JPEG format. So when you purchase them, you will get both. And then it's obviously up to you, you know, which you use, um, whether you use the JPEG or the uh, PDF files. And then the ephemera part of the kit, I will just kind of scoot through that. So you get, and I'm, for some reason, these are all mixed up now and I'm doing them in reverse order. So you get a fussy cut sheet. Um, with some gorgeous images here, um, you know, beautiful banners and a frame and, you know, this couple, some butterflies, little keys with butterflies and things on them. And then you get these gorgeous pages with these large journaling cards. And I've started kind of putting these on a background page so that then it's up to you completely whether you want to have a border on your journal cards or not. Um, you know, hopefully you think that's a good idea because um, it gives you kind of greater versatility really for how you want to incorporate and use your, your images. So then you've got these ones. Absolutely love, love, love these two journaling cards. Aren't they so pretty? <gasps> scrumptious, absolutely scrumptious. Then you have a shrunk down version of the, you know, those two pages of the journaling cards, because of course, I mean, I love massive, great big images, but I'm not saying that everybody does. So I've got a shrunk down version of the um, journaling cards here as well. Then we've got um, some faux postage stamps and things, um, little kind of label here, another faux postage stamps some round circles and just a couple of little elements there. And then you've got some vintage images here um, as well. And then finally, you've got here a couple of kind of invoices um, and another label there. So yeah, super nice images. And um, yeah, so that's obviously available in my Etsy shop. So I thought that what we could do is literally just come on and have a bit of a play and a bit of a just quick craft with me. Um, and I thought that what I would do actually is just make, um, you know, a really nice kind of little, um, uh, what's the word? Like a sort of skinny folio, um, you know, type arrangement. So I'm going to just use this envelope here. And I think I'm going to try and do this in three. I don't know whether I'm going to end up having this just far too skinny. Um, but let's give it a try. You know, you don't know unless you try, do you? So just going to glue this down. So this is just an A4 envelope. I think it's actually probably slightly bigger than A4. Um, and it's obviously been coffee dyed. 
it's a self seal one but i will actually put some glue on as well because you know i don't know about you guys but i never really trust those self seals to stay you know stuck down over a long period of time i mean sometimes they don't even stick down for a short period of time do they so i mean this one i think is is quite sticky but it's better to give it a helping hand i think so that's that okay and then i'm just going to literally fold this into thirds now i'm judging this by eye of course you know you don't have to judge it by eye you could you could measure and be a little bit more um accurate with your sizing i personally you know i just don't like measuring so yeah i'm just going to judge it by eye i don't think it really matters too too much so long as it's um you know similar similar sizes it doesn't have to be 100 percent exact i think so just squish that down now this envelope is um yeah it must be slightly bigger than a4 i think because it's looking quite tall to me so but just you know you can use whatever you've got to hand really and then i'm just going to literally you know collage up a little bit inside and you know on the outside and things using some of the lovely papers from from the kit so just deciding which way round i want to have this i mean again doesn't really greatly matter but because i have not measured mine and it's not particularly particularly accurate i've got a shorter side here on the on this bit um the back seems slightly to overhang so i'm going to have the yeah the back with the overhang if that makes sense i'm going to have the smaller part as the front so I'm just going to take some of these gorgeous background papers and just get, um, you know, collaging them up and layering them up on the front, I think. So I'll just take a couple. Okay. Oops. Sorry, they're all just balanced in my lap now. So um, I'm just quickly flicking through, grabbing a couple of the pages. So I'm just looking now for one of those plainer ones that I can kind of mix it in so as we have a variety of the you know the highly decorated and then the slightly plainer ones oops oh that's annoying because this is on much thicker paper which probably isn't really ideal for collaging bear with me because I've got some more um you know from when I was kind of making the kit and they're just printed on regular copy paper which is just better I think when you're you know when you're doing some collage and things because they're not so thick then okay right let's just um you know get decorating so i'm just going to tear this down so please excuse the back it's obviously you know where i've been making the papers they're um yeah it's got kind of other things other things on the back so please you know please excuse the back so the back's actually my bird garden um background pages which to be fair I don't think I've really kind of come on and do a done a play with that either yet so um oh, I just seem to be madly running out of time you know always there's just so many projects to do and there just don't really seem to be enough hours to to get them all done okay there we go Right, I have got my whoops, dry wipe there. So I'm just going to kind of dab it with the wipe. Okay, let's just bring in some of the, some of this beautiful, rich, vibrant um, paper here. So I'm just going to tear it in half so that I've got a flat, flat edge here. I mean, I'm just super, um, <laughs> super scrappy, so. I'm just going to just tear it down but I mean of course you could cut it you could use your paper trimmer you know you don't have to be tearing tearing your papers down so I'm just going to yeah have that there I mean what gorgeous paper it's just so scrummy isn't it oh absolutely love 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 it I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do this with this little bit of glue that I've got left. I need to pop to the shops and um, buy some more glue. So that's all I've got left at the moment. I have got other glue. I've got my Fabri-Tac. I've got my hot glue gun. Um, 
but for things like this, you know, I would prefer to use my tacky glue, but yeah, I'm not sure whether I'm going to have enough to actually finish the project or not. So we'll have to see. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. Okay. Just wondered whether I wanted another piece up here. Well, I'm going to leave that for the moment. So I'm just going to go inside and just get collaging up in the or on, on the inside, in the inside, on the inside. One of those anyway. And as I say, I mean, this envelope's all been um, coffee dyed. These papers haven't been coffee dyed, so yeah. I haven't tried coffee dyeing these papers. I assume that they would look, you know, super nice coffee dyed, but I haven't, haven't actually tried that. Only because, um, you know, I know I've talked before, I'm not over keen on coffee dyeing that much, um, you know, during these winter months. So I try to really bulk, bulk coffee, bulk coffee dye during the kind of summer months. And um, yeah, then try and just be really stingy with my pieces and make them last for the winter. So um, yeah, I mean, I do occasionally do some coffee dye and I had to coffee dye a few things the other day because I had no, you know, no plainer papers left really, but yeah, I mean, on the whole, on the whole, I prefer to just do it all really during the summer. So I might just kind of put that on there, I think. Okay. So I hope everybody's having a nice day. I don't know whether you can hear that, but it's absolutely chucking it down with rain here. It's just the most miserable, horrible day. We've had a run of lovely, sunny, you know, quite nice spring-like days. So, you know, can't really complain because today is the first, first in a few days that it's been really horrible and miserable. And I mean, we have only just gone into March, haven't we? So, you know, it's not really spring yet, is it? So, Well, I say we've only just gone into March, to be fair. We're, I guess, heading towards the middle of March now. The time just literally, I don't know where it goes. It's um, shocking how fast the time flies, I think. Right. Okay. So I'm just, you know, squishing that, um, the crease down. So just then you know, squish it down with my bone folder as well, like that. And then we can just then have some other bit of paper down here, I think. Oh, trying to be much more random in my um, collaging. And I mean, I know I've said before, collaging isn't really kind of a natural thing for me. I do kind of struggle because it's so eclectic and um, you know for me that's just going kind of against the grain because you know again it's I don't know just a bit too random I think for me so um, yeah I do struggle quite a lot with collage but but it is fun I do like doing it okay Oops, sorry, I was trying to pick that up. I thought it would just stick on my finger and I'd be able to pick it up, but no. It was just resisting and not wanting to um, be picked up, obviously. Okay. That looks super pretty. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same for the rest. So we'll just collage up some other little bits and to be honest I mean I don't mind having a bit of um you know the coffee dyed paper showing as well because you know that looks really pretty and otherwise if I have none of it showing to be honest what was the point in 
coffee dye in it. I might as well have just, you know, worked with a plain white envelope. Uh oh, right, okay. <laughs> I am already now running very, very low on my glue, so I might have to stop the video and pop out and buy some glue in a moment. Oh, this is so annoying. Yeah, I thought I was kind of like hoping a bit much really to um, to manage to get by on just that little tiny bit of glue. Okay. Right, I might only be able to stick down sort of one more piece, I think, and then I'll have to go to the shops and um, buy some glue. Just having a look to see whether I would like to mix up, mix up some of the papers, maybe with some of this gorgeous glue. I mean, that's super nice, isn't it? So I went a bit wide there. Oh yeah, I love how that looks. So I'll just tear that down so it actually fits even on that envelope at the moment. It's huge. Too wide to even put it on the envelope. Okay, right. Okay, so as I say, I think this is going to be my last piece and then I'm going to have to just pop to the shop. So... I might have to actually just glue this last piece down with some fabric tack because, yeah, I could be here all day trying to squeeze that little tiny bit of of glue out of there. So I'm going with my fabric tack. I mean, the fabric tack works fine. I find it just a little bit extravagant to be honest using fabric tack for things like this because I mean, fabric tack's really quite pricey, I think, and um, you know, to just use it for collage is yeah, a little bit extravagant. So. Um, that's the only reason I'm not just switching over to the fabric tack is because it's not really very cost effective to do that. So yeah, I'm going to pop to the shop and buy some more glue. Okay, right. So, well, we haven't done a great deal, but I am liking, liking what we've done so far. So I will be back. Okay, so I'm back now with some glue and um, we will just kind of continue on just collaging up the, um, you know, the base of the folio. <laughs> I have to say I might be on limited time now because um, it's now getting really dark. It's just one of those rainy, rainy afternoons and, um, you know, when it's like that, it just gets really dark very quickly. So... I'll continue on kind of as long as I can, but yeah, it may be that it will actually, it will actually then be too dark to, to actually continue. So we'll just kind of play it by ear, really. Um, just deciding which, which bit to have. Oh, perhaps I'll have it this way round. Okay. Yeah, it's been a really miserable day. Just been kind of rainy and horrible the whole day. And it just gets so dark when it's, you know, when it's raining like that, it just gets so dark. Oops. Okay. Right. Oops. Sorry, just trying to slide that over a bit. Oh dear. Okay, right, just spread that glue out. And again, just kind of going in there into that crease, it just helps it, you know, slightly more with the um, going forward, you know, for its behavior really. So there we go. Just pop this down here. Okay. Oops. Okay. 
So, I mean, you can probably see I've got some paper overhanging there. So, I mean, I can trim all that down, you know, in a minute. So I'm not going to kind of get too stressed or worried about things like that at the moment. There we go. Right. Okie dokie. And have I glued everything down? Yes. So I've got bits of paper kind of on all the sides now. I mean, I've left these little bits here. Sorry, I'm just going to move the camera slightly. I've left these bits here, um, you know, because I haven't quite decided how I'm going forward with this yet. So I can come back to those. Okay, so what I've done, I've just grabbed a couple of envelopes here. These are just some long um, shaped envelopes. And I thought that we could just make a couple of kind of little flappy type pieces to have inside this kind of little folio like that. So I'm just deciding how to have this. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to glue this flap down when I say glue the flap down, this is the flap that the flap sticks to, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to glue that down and then I'm just going to cover it. I mean, obviously this is a brown envelope. I don't mind that, you know, I quite like brown envelopes. So um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't worry me that it's not a coffee dyed envelope or anything like that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take some paper and put it inside so it looks pretty on the inside as well. So, um, just checking which, or I have this, which actually, okay, so this one, then I can actually have it the full size of the envelope, whereas if I, if I work with the paper the other way around, it's not really quite fitting, so. I'm just tearing this down just because uh, I'm being super lazy. And then just check that that's now going to fit in there. Like, whoops, like that. Oh, why is that not fitting? Okay, I'll have to just quickly cut that down slightly more to actually get that to fit there. So, oops. Oh dear, now what's happened to my scissors? Oh, I've put them away. I mean, that's always the way, isn't it? You know, you can always lay your hands on them until you put them away. And then, of course, that's just such an alien concept, you know, putting things away that you can just not find them. All right, let's just pop this in here. Okay. Might have to just take that down slightly more. It's still quite you know, quite a tight fit, which then just causes it to like bump up, if that makes sense. You know, it then has a sort of lump in it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's better. So just, whoops. Again, just Oh my gosh, it's so horrible out there. Honestly, that rain is just, well, it's just horrible. Obviously I drove to the shop to get the um, the glue and even just in the couple of seconds, you know, getting out of the car to the shop, it was, you know, really raining a lot and you got kind of a bit, a bit soggy. All right. So that's that and just then. And then again, can just use your card to spread that glue out. Like that. And then I'm just going to cut it around here. going to fold that fold over and 
because that's how it's going to be attached to the you know to the folio itself so again can just take my bone folder and kind of like squish this down hopefully getting over oops getting over anywhere where the paper would be wrinkled or just tearing it <laughs> either or um okay right so we go so that's my flap just yeah just checking which way around this needs to be so i'm going to attach this here i think mm. yeah okay so all i'm going to do is glue this down just glue that whole flap like that And just press that down. Okay, and then just press that glue. So that's that flap and then we can obviously just then collage this up as well so again just going to put some paper on there just using more of those same scraps you know that we've been using earlier so this one now so again I'm going to just try and avoid that photo because um, you know don't necessarily have that there because if I then have a pocket oh <laughs> what a woolly I hadn't really thought but that's then that's then on the wrong side so I'll have that this side instead okay Okay, so we'll just have it on this side. I do love the colours of this, I must say. Really, really, really pretty. And then I'm just going to put my card under there because there's probably some glue on this paper. So just putting the card down while I press that glue, or, you know, press that paper down, it's just preventing that glue from sticking down onto the paper. And then I can just, you know, wipe it straight off of the card. Okay, and then we'll just finish that off with just a little piece down here I think okay oh it's getting so dark I'm in another one of those kind of oh must must hurry before the light's all gone one of those situations so um yeah like i say it's not late or anything like that but it's just when it really rains it just gets so dark okay right so again you can just whoops just spread that with my glue spreader and then 
just going to go back here and finish this side off as well. So let's maybe we have. Super pretty, doesn't it? I love these colours together, the pinks and the blue, and it just has this really rich kind of, um, yeah, like a sort of rich, opulent feel about it, which is gorgeous. Okay. Right, there we go. So that's that. And then, I mean, we could probably have sort of another flap or something if we, you know, if we want to. So I'm just going to have a look. Just trimming that little bit of paper off there at the side. Um, and then this side, I'm hoping to put some papers in here, some pages in here to make it like a little journal on this side. But on this side, I'm wondering we could have sort of another another flap perhaps maybe here oh it's not really going to work um unless it's over the page oh it's a little bit tricky because these envelopes are slightly um wider than the actual you know the folio itself so but i could have it that way round actually that would work Okay, so I'm just going to now just put some paper inside here now, just as we did on the other one. So again, just take that down. Just going to do that in half. Please excuse this paper. Obviously, again, it's, you know, <laughs> I really like to just reuse things. I don't like sort of wasting. So, um, oh, I've not done that quite wide enough. Um, so yeah, I always kind of reuse and print on the back of other things that I've printed previously. So this has obviously got prints from where I've printed on it previously. So, uh, yeah, I apologize for the, for the back of this. Okay. Just trim this down. that and then yeah we'll just have this in here Oops. oh come on do I need to trim this down a little bit more as well no it's okay right so again just going to glue this down inside that envelope and the only reason I do that you know literally is to just reinforce the the envelopes to just make them a little bit more durable you know, when they're bending, so it's not just the thickness of like the envelope flap, but instead so that it's, um, you know, it's double, double thickness then. So let's pop that in like that. Oops. Oh my goodness. Struggling to slide this in. Hold on. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I'm okay at doing this. Other times I can really struggle. Like now, like now. I think, um, you know, it sometimes just depends on, I don't know, the thickness of the envelopes maybe, or the thickness of the paper I'm using. Um, oh my goodness, I have made a horrible job of this. Let me come back out and try it again, so. Oh my gosh. And now I'm covered in glue. So I just apologise so much. Super messy. I don't know quite what's happened here, to be honest. Yeah, this is probably the worst I've ever done. The worst one I've ever done. I don't know why it went so terribly. Right. 
Let's try and put this further into the envelope before, before anything else. So just kind of slide that in like that. Okay, so that's gone a bit better. So yeah, definitely, you know, if things aren't going well, it's worth, worth taking them back out, isn't it? And starting again. There we go, right. Just stick that down. Like that, and we didn't glue this this flap here. We've not glued yet, so let's just glue that down. Okie dokie. So sorry, I'm now completely messy and completely gluey from obviously that um, that misadventure there with the with the envelope. So I do apologise. I mean, I started out reasonably tidy and it's just gone downhill. So yeah, so sorry about that. Right, let's just cut that envelope flap here. Okay, and then we're going to just pop this. So again, just going to make sure that flap's all, you know, foldable. So, can just kind of again you know push that bone folder in for the crease and then okay and I'm just going to kind of put that sort of snug up to to the other one so they're almost like journal pages then then glue this one down. Okay. Right, need to be a little bit careful here. Okay. So then just obviously press that down like that. And just squish it down here. Making sure that I've not stuck the envelope itself down, because that would just <laughs> never be, never be beyond the realms, would it, of um, things that might happen. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay. And so again, then I'm just going to literally collage this up a little bit so we've got some decorative bits going on on here as well. So this actually is, um, yeah, pretty much perfect fit for that. So that just worked out awesome, didn't it? Because, uh, you know, I hadn't kind of obviously factored that in or measured it or anything, but it just has turned out to be just perfect. So... Okay. Right. And pop that in there. Okay, just spread that glue out and then Again, I'm not going to worry about this top part at the moment because I haven't quite decided, obviously, how we're going to be, you know, doing this. So it might be that that will be covered. It, you know, we'll just kind of see how it goes. Might put some lace up there or something. I'll just leave it for the time being. And then again, just want to quickly collage this, um, you know, this side of the envelope as well. So again, just I'm using, you know, the remnants that I've got kind of laying around. Make this a better shape down this side. Okay. Might have it this 
way round, I think. Right. No, I'm going to have it the original way round that I had put it at first, so. Okay. Just pop that down there. And I mean, again, that's not gone right up to the edge of the envelope. You know, we've got plenty of the brown envelope showing, which, you know, I quite like that. I think that looks, you know, really pretty. So let me just glue this one down. Okay. Right. Okay, so that looks pretty now. Again, I'm just going to do this with the card so that any glue that's kind of on that piece of paper is then just going straight onto the card rather than, you know, gluing the envelope closed like that. Okay. So, yep, I like how that looks. And obviously we've got, you know, bits here that, again, what you could do is obviously layer up more envelopes, you know, if you wanted to, or more flaps or, you know, things like that, really. Um, but, you know, you don't have to. It's just kind of an, an option that you could have. I mean, we've got some journaling cards here. And obviously because these have been printed, you know, with a background, we could cut these down here and then fold them over as you know opening flaps so what i might do is run down and print these with some of the um coffee dyed background on the back of these and then i will come back 